Now, back when we were talking about the physics of space flight, we said that the fundamental problem was the energy in a kilogram of fuel is only just enough to lift itself. Yep. Um, and there must be better ways to do it. So for example, could you not carry oxygen with you, but breathe it in from the atmosphere? After all, for the first part of your flight, you're going through this nice yep. oxygen atmosphere. Um, are there ways we can make space flight much cheaper by new technologies like this? And this is exactly what people are thinking of. Are there, are there new ways that have just improved over time? And one of these ideas are people are looking at more space planes rather than the traditional rocket. Now, the idea here is that instead of just going up and flying into space, this is comparing against uh, Falcon 9s, you have some sort of system that can get you into the Earth's atmosphere a bit, and then you kind of glide and fly up. Now, there are companies that are doing this quite effectively already. So Virgin Orbit, for instance, uh, attaches a small rocket to a Boeing 747. Now, a lot of old Boeing 747s, it gets you surprisingly just that little 10 kilometers or eight kilometers up, reduces a lot of that energy needed from the beginning liftoff, and you launch from there. And they think that could be a cheap way of doing it. So people are saying, can we have a resolution of space planes that somehow get off the ground via, via a bigger plane or some other mechanism and then takes off there. Now, the benefit here is you can probably take more mass on average. Uh, it depends, it would be a bit heavier. Um, they think that the cost would be a bit more expensive than a rocket because you have the functionality of a plane and a rocket. But the reusability, we know planes are fairly reusable. We know the space shuttle, as we were just seeing, was reusable because it can come back down and land. So can you have it more reusable? So instead of these rockets still have a finite lifetime before you know, metal fatigues, these airplanes can maybe last two to ten times as long and therefore reduce that cost. Yeah, so I mean, in principle, aircraft, because it can use the atmosphere for part of it, it can bear an oxygen um, and so on, is in principle more efficient. But that might come at the cost of more complexity, as yes. you were saying. And as we saw, fuel energy is a very, very small fraction of the total cost. Most of the cost is the sheer number of people who have to get all the components working. So that complexity could well make it much more expensive. You might be simpler with just a rocket. Yep. Um, and, and this is a kind of what Elon Musk has always focused on, is just trying to say, how can we make this as simple as possible? by putting good design in, can we make things cheap to run? And this was one of the downfalls of the space shuttles. It worked, but it was very complex. There's a lot of things that can go, and it made it uh, a very expensive thing as opposed to a very cheap thing. And this is why there's a lot of effort now in this reusability. And in fact, people have looked at, well, what would this cost be of, this is just one proposed mission of the Skylon space plane, so this is how many times it would fly uh, versus flights of a, an equivalent rocket. So assuming a Falcon SpaceX rocket can go 10 times, they can go 200 times. We can look at different other countries' rockets, Falcon 9, um, some of the Chinese and, and European rockets. And it does appear to be, yes, it does get dramatically cheaper a few flights in, but that complexity kind of levels you out. And in fact, it levels you out probably more expensive than a simpler reusable rocket. And so this is kind of the downside is, yes, in principle it is, but when you start looking at, as you said, those costs, fuel is small, complexity is high, people are high, and things like a space plane probably have actually already missed their market, unfortunately. We've already mastered now a lot of companies this reusable technology, and so maybe the space plane is an idea that was great, but technology is advanced now.